Leave the stress of the workday behind and just enjoy the pretty colours. It's time to play Fez. Welcome to the main hub, also known as the Ocean Hub. The music and general tone of this whole area is supposed to evoke, really. Hmm. It's supposed to evoke that feeling of just lying half submerged in a some body of water. Just everything's kind of dulled and just goes right past you. If that makes sense. And what's this giant cube thing? There are four other hub areas, each of them has a warp gate, and when we find them, we'll be able to fast travel between them. So let's get to finding them. We can pick four directions to go in, we can go visit this face thing, this bell thing, that lighthouse thing, or these ruins. And you know, when I hear the word explore, I think ruins. Crate? Where are we gonna find a crate? Ah oh, man, this game's starting us off with the fiendish puzzles already. The ruins are one of precious few places throughout the entire game that have no music at all. supposed to get over there. I mean, we definitely can't jump that far. We'd have to be able to fly to get to something like that. Yeah. Well, we'll come back later. Found a crate. Secret passages always have goodies. Mm. 
I think that the reason there's music here, as opposed to the other part of the ruins, is because this is a, as the game mentioned, a secret passage. So it's not technically part of the ruins. Either way, it's pretty chill. That's interesting. Aha! Pink water, that's pretty chill. cube all ready to go. Oh, hey now. That looks dangerous. Let's get away from that. Yeah. We'll just go right back the way we came. We can just jump straight up there, but let's go the way the game wants us to. Another treasure map that I can't read. The music of that place was the same as that other secret area. I think that might just be generic good secret area music. Hmm. Anyway. The lack of music in this area, I used to interpret as being because these ruins are floating above the ground, they're very far away from the sea, so there would be little sound to follow. Right on that as soon as we get back to the hub. The lack of music, I now realize, may also uh, be used here to sim symbolize uh, well, a lack of life. A, these ruins are so old that there is no there's no signs of life left here. It's just, it's, it's just these ruins. But that's just how I see it.
Oh, it's another one of those things. But it's not actually dangerous at all. It's incredibly convenient. And we're right back where we started. And now that we've got four cubes, let's remember that we have four cubes and go check out that four cube door. seem to have a whole lot going on here, except for this one side. From these murals here, it looks like the people from the chalkboard that were two generations previous to us were, well, fairly primitive. Look at that. Spears, hunting animals, tiny chef hats. Where you going, little caterpillar? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Whoop, whoop. Gotcha. <laughs> there aren't really... There's not really anything to collect here aside from cute bits uh, in terms of strict progression. But we can get quite a bit of lore from this place. Lots of narrative. For example, it looks like these cave people worshipped some sort of deity. That thing looks familiar. Hmm. Anyway. As we can see, as we've seen, the only rooms that we have available are on this one face of the... I guess we'd call this a village. An old village. And that's another piece of, well, narrative. Something else that ties into that is that uh, while we can rotate the world around here, when we go inside, these rooms are actually completely two-dimensional. We can't rotate at all. Well, they don't look like much. I mean, how bad could they really be? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, black holes are pretty bad. Let's avoid them. And that's about all there is to this old village. Mostly some lore. Which I'll let you guys in the thread discuss amongst yourselves.
So, we've exhausted one of our exploration options, and we've learnt a little bit about our ancestors. Next up, we can go to Bell Tower Land, Lighthouse Land, not Ruins Land, or Face Land. But for now, let's explore the infinite abyss of the ocean.